You guys, honestly, I don't know what comes over me when the camera comes on. That was my first instinct. You guys, we're gonna cut to the freaking chase. We don't have time. We're doing fuetes. So find some space and figure it out. Just kidding. <laughs> I couldn't even be mean to you guys if I wanted to. You know why? Can you guess? Right? Because they give us money. No, because I love you guys. And money. <laughs> Okay, you guys, seriously, for reals, we're learning how to do the flottes. Um, You guys really liked the a la Sacone, Fouette, and Pirouette vlog. We did a long time ago, so I thought I would do one specific to flottes. Um, this is gonna go like... <laughs> steps, can they hear that on camera maybe? Steps of how to do them, starting with little crunchitos. Those are your crunches. And we're gonna move all the way into your true flotte. So for those of you who wanna learn them, for those of you who have them kind of, but they need to be strengthened, and for those who just want kind of a refresher, this is the right vlog for you. So, start on the floor. We're gonna work on our core. That rhymed. Shout out, Dr. Seuss. All right, guys, so we're gonna start out with just some simple crutches. 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 <laughs> and here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. It's very important you keep your elbows out. A lot of people crunch like this. This is doing nothing. But the moment I open my elbows out, all of these abdominal muscles, you have different types of abs, were activated. So elbows out, we're gonna do 10, going straight up and down, five. Six, press your feet into the floor, one. And two, three, four. Press your back into the floor also, seven, eight, nine, 10. From there, you'll wanna do right and left as well. So you'll come up, shift right, center, lower. Up, shift left, center, lower. Do that 10 times right and 10 times left. One more time, that was up, turn, center, lower. Up, turn, center, lower. Warm up, babies. You guys, we're back to our handy dandy bar. We're gonna do some posse releves. So what I'm doing for you guys is breaking down the positions of the fuetes and we're gonna work on those separately before we piece them all together. So go ahead and stand in a nice first position. The outside hand is gonna go on your hip to make sure that you don't have your booty out. You're gonna lift up and flatten that spine. Go to my posture video if you want more help with that. Go to first position again. We're gonna go up to a posse. Plie, releve, plie, releve. So what you wanna make sure you're doing is keeping a high passe, don't let it come down, and keeping as high of a releve, your bottom foot on any point as much as you can. Plie, rise, plie, rise. Keep your leg up and rise, plie, rise. You wanna do this on both sides, but you especially wanna do it on the side that you wanna do your fuetes on. Um, your right foot high are your right fuetes, your left foot high are your left fuetes. So do about 30 plie releves with a 60 second break in between, also known as one minute, and then do that again, okay? And go straight up and down. Try not to push onto the bar and have it help you get up. You need to build the strength in your ankles, your foot, your Achilles, which is not here, <laughs> your Achilles, um, your anterior tibialis, all of those muscles that are gonna pull you up need to be worked on. So we have our crunches, we have our posse releves, and let's move on. Okay, so the three positions of your fouette are devant, a la sacone, and a passe. You're going front, you're going side, you're going passe, so you have one, two, and three. Sometimes those positions get all jumbled up because there's so many components of a successful fuete. So make sure you know the clear position so that you can get clarity and cleanliness in your technique. So make sure you know one, you know two, you know three. You know one, two, three. What we're gonna do is come over to the bar and we're gonna add those together 
with a releve. So you're gonna start in the fifth position. First, if you don't know quite yet how to do your fifth, but if you can, heel to the opposite toe, stand up tall, hand on your hip. Seven, eight, we go one, two, three. One, two, three. Again, one, two, three. Last time, one, two, three. So if you notice, my front and my side, my supporting leg is bent in a plie. Then when I zip it up to a passe, I straighten my supporting leg. I pull up, up, up through my chest and the back of my neck. Everything is long and lifted. Um, do this about 15 times. Your little hip flexors and your booty are gonna be burning, but you need those to be activated for your turns anyway. So five, six, seven, and front, side, up again. Front, side, up again. Front, side, up, and front, side, up. 15 times, you can do it. Another important aspect of your flexes are your arms. Everyone forgets about these cute little babies right here. Your arms are attached to your back, in case you didn't know, and your back is also important for your, for all sorts of turns and dance, you guys. So those arms, number one, need to make sure they're not behind you. They are in front of your body so that you can also pull up those lower abs here and zip everything in. Just like there's three positions of the legs and feet for your flatties, there's three positions of the arms. The first one is your third position. Then it opens to a second. Then it goes to an en avant, a fifth en avant, which just means in front. So we go third, second, en avant. And third, second, en avant. If you are doing the right side flatties, it's your right arm forward in third. If you are doing the left side flatties, it's your left arm forward in third. So what I want, my arms are already burning because I was activating everything and I'm a little weak, <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, what you should do, my hair looks nuts, Brayden. Why don't you tell me? I thought it was on purpose. <laughs> Crazy, but make it fashion. Yeah, that's what this is. Um, we're gritty, right? I'm obsessed with this tank top, if you can't tell. Um, we're going third, second, on a ball. Third, second, on a ball. Breathe, third, second, on a ball. And third, second, on a ball. So I would do that about 20 times, 60 second break, 20 times, 60 second break, 20 times. What you're doing is not only building up your muscle, but you're building muscle memory. So that when you get to doing the flattes, your body's not like, where am I? They're like, oh yeah, I already know how to do this because I did it 80 times in the center or 60, math, okay? So do those positions, shoulders down, long neck, keep your arms in front of your body and you're gonna get some Okay, friends, you have now graduated. Dun, 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 dun. Is that the wedding song? There's yeah. a graduation song and a wedding one, and I always mix it up. Can That's you tell what's on my mind? <laughs> you guys can't wait for the day where I'm like, look, you two. Brayden, don't ever show these to Eric, my boyfriend, thanks. Good thing that they're public for the world to see. Okay, focus, Miss Ati. We are coming to center, you guys. And what we're gonna do is basically everything we took from the bar and all of those um, progress, progression exercises and bring them to center. So what we're gonna do is third, second, passe. Third, second, passe. You're gonna do that 20 times on the right, 20 on the left, depending on which side you wanna do. Um, 60 second break, 20 again. So really fast, when you go um, to the front with your leg that you would like to do the foote on, so right side for me, I come to a third. When my leg goes out to second, my arms go to second. When it comes to passe, I bring my arms in. So your arms match your leg, and they need to go at the same time. If anything, your arms are slightly ahead of your leg. Do that in center without a releve. You're just training your body to get the motion and the momentum. Ah. Hey. <laughs> 
Um, hi, another important part of your foie taste is your spot, you guys. I have a whole vlog on spotting, um, so you can go over there and check that out. But I'm going to teach you a little baby version in this vlog. Um, starting in the fifth position, because how you're going to start your foie taste, you're going to tendu. You're going to find your fourth behind you, both feet are planted. Now, when I did that, I shifted to the right and then I corrected. Make sure you go straight down. I'm going to turn over my right shoulder because that's the right side foie and I'm going to spot the front. I'm going to spot you guys and I'm just going to come to a parallel and land and stretch. So what we're doing here is training our spot. Tendu, plie, and spot. I'm now spotting right in front of me, seven, and tendu, heels down, spot, seven, squeeze up, Plie, spot. Yeah, that core was activated there. Try that, I would say maybe like 10, 15 times. Don't get too dizzy, but just get your spot going so that again, it just comes naturally when you do your actual turn. Dun, 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 dun. You guys, I don't remember the graduation song, so just in your head, make it the graduation song. You made it, you are watching. Now, you guys, it's not gonna be perfect right away. But all of these little steps need to be repeated many, many, many times. It can be figured out today, figured out tomorrow, figured out in a month, in six months, in a year. Whatever your body needs is okay. You have to be okay and accepting of your own path, your own development. So don't get frustrated if you don't get it right away. I didn't get these right away either. Um, you'll have to just practice and it'll make it so much more worthwhile when you do get them. So. Now you're in center, you guys. Just start with one flatte. So from fifth position, we're gonna start with our arms on bas, we tendu. We already practiced these arms. We come to a third position, okay? And I'm gonna go flatte and in. That's it. I know you're like, what? <laughs> okay, practice it. Right out of my prep, I'm going to here, the position you already practiced. Then I'm going to here and I'm bringing it in. I'm flotting, I'm whipping, which is what it means. In. So again, I go tendu. I go plie. I come to the position we already practiced. I come out and I whip my foot in. That's it. Practice your flotes one by one. Do one, then do two, then do three. How counting works, yeah? Add them on step by step. So, starting with your cute little crunches all the way to the bar for your passe releves, all the way to learn three positions, repeating that, working on the arms, whatever the arms were that I told you, and then coming out to the center and actually working on your fuetes, getting them around. Yeah. You wanna see this crazy lion hair, everyone? Get a good look at that. <laughs> Don't let the people in on my secrets. You guys, for real, I have crazy hair. This is pretty tame. Um, anyways, thank you for watching my Fuerte vlog. <laughs> hey, Brian, I can fan you with this. Doesn't it look like a little fan? Or like a little, it looks like a croissant, a croissant. Anyways, which I love. Um, you guys, I'm proud of you. Do all of those progressions over and over again. Practice, get your Fuerte, send me videos of them, send me some pics. I don't know how you take pictures of your fuetes in like a really fast shutter. Um, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. A shutter? Yes. Um, but I'm stoked for you guys to learn these. So let me know what else you guys want to learn. Any sort of movement, more flexibility stuff. Put them in the comments. DM me. I do listen to you. I do read your messages and I try and respond when I can. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. Sign up for my email list at atikamal.com for exclusive content, sneak peeks, promo codes videos that won't be on YouTube. I'm just saying. Videos that won't be on YouTube, if you didn't understand that voice. Um, anyways, I love you guys so very much and I will talk to you via camera very soon. Bye.